We are here with Jane Espenson. Um, you are the showrunner for Caprica. I am, I, yes, I guess that's the right title. Head that's writer, head writer. showrunner, co-executive producer, later to be elevated to executive producer. There's a lot of different titles floating around. I never know which one to, to own. I kind of am liking head writer right now. Head writer sounds great. Um, what, what will you take from, I know that they're trying to differentiate a lot between Caprica and Battlestar Galactica. What will you actually take from Battlestar Galactica to use in Caprica besides just the names and a historical sense? The stuff that Battlestar Galactica did that blew me away as a viewer and then as a writer was the moral complexity. That there was no moral cheat sheet on other shows, even if you as a viewer aren't sure where you would land on a particular issue, you just look to the hero and see what they're doing. On, on Galactica, the morals and the, uh, the stakes and the situations were so complicated and the people were so complicated that there wasn't always a clear-cut moral answer. And even more so, you couldn't just say, well, what's Laura Roslin doing? Because she'll do the right thing. Because she may be fixing the election. You know, she, there, there, there was, things were kept very gray and complicated and I heard a quote from Ron once that said, if you're watching, we want you to be watching a scene and halfway through suddenly realize that you may have been rooting for the wrong person. Yeah. And we're trying to keep that real density and complexity and moral question alive. And I think more than anything else, that's what ties us to Galactica. Okay, and you mentioned in the panel that there are a few parallels, a few bits and pieces that you can extrapolate from Buffy to Caprica as well. Um, can you kind of expand on that just a little bit? Like what, yeah. what things? Yeah, I think, I think, I mean, I'm speaking, it's not facetious, but I'm, I'm perhaps exaggerating when I say, you know, this is, the show isn't Buffy, but it does have humor, and it does have a teenage girl at the center of it in an extraordinary circumstance. Uh, and, uh, and another teenage girl in another extraordinary circumstance. And actually there's a third teenage girl in it in an even different circumstance. And these girls are very important to our show. And there's a lot of sense in which their emotional journey uh, provides a huge amount of content for this show. Uh, this is a show that can appeal to young women and, and, and can have that same sense that Buffy did of young people trying to make their way through extraordinary situations. Thank you.